Mother's Day and the Father's Day. It's a great place to be. No place I'd rather spend part of my weekend than here. Uh, if you are a first time friend, if you wouldn't mind raising your hand, some ushers will come around with cards. Uh, it's just to collect some information from you. We're not going to spam you or bother you. But we feel as a church it's more important to stay connected outside of these walls than in. Um, so please, put your hand up. Um, as a church, we feel that giving is a form of worship. So there's a couple ways you can do that. One is on Facebook. Two is through text. 84321. Nailed it. The third way is these nice wicker baskets we have up here. Um, anytime during the service, come up. Just drop it in here. If you didn't know, if you're newer here, we didn't always have nice wicker baskets. We actually used to have garbage cans. <laughs> first time we ever came, that's what I noticed first. Garbage cans and Kleenexes on the floor up by where Pastor Indio was speaking. Now, I've heard Pastor Indio speak before. An altar call full of tears, not that uncommon. <laughs> A trash can, I had been taught by the world, serves one function. Garbage goes in, garbage comes out. See, the world had trained me that things will always be what they have always been. And that what they have always been called is what they, what they are and that purpose they will always serve. So not all that long ago, I was reading through Acts chapter 10. In verse 15, there's a voice from heaven telling Peter, what God has made clean, do not call common. Now in the Bible, Peter doesn't know yet that he's going to be meeting some people that the Jewish community considered unclean. But the Lord started pressing on my heart about how Christians listen too often to what the world has called us. Losers, failures, screw ups. To make it more personalized, I spent the better part of my adult life as a drug addict and as a criminal. Wouldn't you then call that the human version of a trash can? Garbage went in me, garbage came out of me. So for a long time, I let what the world told me I was define me. I was a common criminal and a drug addict. And I put myself in this box and questioned myself and God, even after I rededicated my life to him, how can you use me? How? I'm a garbage can. Nothing good, good can ever come from me. And then that verse hit me. What God has made clean, don't call common. When we give our lives to him, we can stop listening to what the world calls us and start listening to what he calls us. Here's a few things from the Bible that God calls us. Redeemed and forgiven. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Masterfully crafted. Beloved. Chosen and dearly loved. My favorite, a new creation. Adopted sons and daughters. See, the thing about adoption is it's a choice. God has made a choice to adopt us. You don't just adopt a dog. You actually choose that. The point of all this is this. We are no longer what the world calls us. The enemy will use this to stifle you and pull you away from your calling, making you feel you're not strong enough, smart enough. Your past is this, that, or the other. God has called all of us to do something. And if he has called you, he will equip you. Whether it's pastor a church, ministering to prisoners, helping homeless, feeding a community, and everything in between. And I'll leave you with this. You are so much more than what the world has called you. If God can use trash cans for giving and a human trash can to get out and minister, he can do it with anybody here. Any of you. All it takes is breaking off what the world has called you and stop believing the garbage they pumped into us and start serving him. Start following him. Join a connect group. Actually, join discipleship program. I just graduated. My buddy Greg, just, it will change you. You want to talk about being equipped? That's going to do it. I'm going to get off the stage now and let our wonderful worship team continue. Thank you guys all. 
and let's celebrate another happy yeah. Sunday. Yeah. I love that. I love that. I love to see God taking us to the unseen. Amen. How I many you know that we walk a life of faith? And most of the time, we can only see our current situation. But faith allows you to just put everything, every burden on God and say, God, wherever you take me, I trust that you're going to do the best for me. Amen. So just join us this morning.